Are you finding it hard to move around in your kitchen? Does it feel unorganized and cluttered? Well, I have a few tips for you to get that simple, organized kitchen that you've always been wanting. Sometimes a messy, chaotic kitchen is a good thing, but not all the time. We are moms. We need to be able to work efficiently in our kitchen while cooking the meals for our family. And I have three tips that are going to help you do this and a bonus tip that you're gonna wanna know at the end because not everybody is talking about this one. Number one, let's state the obvious right off the bat, right? Keep up on messes. Get those counters clean, get those dishes washed and put away. That will be a huge step in the right direction for keeping your, your kitchen organized. If you stay on top of messes and clutter, taking care of them immediately, this will keep even a small kitchen a lot bigger feeling if everything's clear and clean. Number two, keep things in places as you can. We can't always remodel our kitchen to make it lay out exactly the way we want. But using the way your kitchen is laid out, make sure that your utensils that you need to use at the stovetop are right next to the stovetop if possible, or at least not more than one or two steps away. Likewise, when you're baking, keep all of your baking utensils in one area so that they're near where you bake and are easy to access right when you need them. Number three, this one we've heard a lot of, there's always ads for organization containers. Organization containers can be a huge help. They can also add clutter to your already small kitchen. But if you use them wisely and don't get too carried away with the how many you're getting, you can get your kitchen organized pretty quickly. Organization containers can be anything from utensil organizers in your drawers to crocs on the counter to a basket to hold snacks. Figure out what containers can best benefit you in the space that you have without adding to the clutter. If you saw any kitchen items that you liked and would like to look up and get for your kitchen, I will leave a link down to those below. Number four, and my bonus tip. I don't hear people talking about this very much. That is to organize your appliances and your dishes according to what you use daily, weekly, or on occasion. If it's something that you use every single day, you may choose to leave it out on the counter or at least in a cupboard that's quickly accessible. If it's something you only use maybe once a week or every other week, those can go in the cupboards in the kitchen, or maybe you choose to put those in your pantry. And for things that are very rarely used, those can go up in your highest cabinets that are harder to get to or in your pantry up high. You don't need to get to them very often. You don't need them down in your workspace getting in your way. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing. That's all for today. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.